I mean, I, th I think overall, we've analysed it for a couple of hours, and I think it's, it's broadly flat. Um, the, the, the level of borrowing is, is likely to remain the same over the next 12 months. So it, it's really, um, no, I think, the chance to call it tax neutral, and, and broadly that's what it is. I think the big sting in the tail is, is around employees. There, there's there going to be a hike in the national insurance rate by half a percent for both employer and employee, which won't kick in until 2011, but given the problems there have been with unemployment in our sector, in our, in our um, area in, in the last 12 to 18 months, that's going to be a big hit. There are some positives. Um, there is some incentives. There is incentives around uh, re research and development, also around uh, companies that have patents. Um, and and they, they could be helpful, although the time frames for those are such that they're probably not going to make a, a great deal of, deal of difference in the next few years. This is very much a, a budget that stands still. It will be interesting to see what happens in April before the next election and whether Mr Darling chooses at that point to really nail his colours a bit more and we get something more substantive. I think there are, there are a number of sectors at the moment that are really struggling and I, I think there, there, is, there are a couple of good messages for them that come out of this today. One is that there is an extension of some of the lines of credit from government that have come out and we'll, we'll see how, how useful they will be. But also the HMRC have also announced an extension of their time to pay initiative, which has helped a lot of businesses locally, over 25,000 in the last 12 months. So again, that could be good. But the devil again is in the detail. And for some of those wanting a large line of credit, they're going to find it increasingly hard to get it.